What about Leslie French? He did marvellous. He's working with Visconti. He gave us a polite no. Cyril Cusack? A less polite no. <clears throat> Can I help you? I think you're in my office. That's a rather interesting way of looking at it. I'm rather an interesting person. I don't doubt it. Rex Tucker, I'm looking after Doctor Who. Pending the appointment of the permanent producer. Oh, is he with you? You're looking at him. I keep coming back to Hugh David. Who? Uh, he was in Night Errant on ITV. Lovely actor. Not old enough for the doctor, surely. Well, we don't want Grandpa Moses, do we? We need someone who can play older. The shooting schedules are going to be pretty punishing. Mm. I've got some ideas. I'll call Hugh, see what he thinks. I'd rather you didn't. Is that a fact? Waste of time. We need someone like Frank Morgan in The Wizard of Oz. He's dead. Rex. And American. I said like. Well, perhaps we should all, um, sleep on it. After all, it took the months to find Scarlet O'Hara. <laughs> Dear lady, may I have a word? Hello? Yes? Oh, yes. Right, you were Sydney's production assistant on the other channel. Yes. So this is quite a promotion. Well, apparently. Man to ruffle a few feathers. If feathers don't ruffle, nothing flies. This show's going to be a terrific challenge, you know. Outer space, time travel. In this first script, they go back to the Stone Age. You're going to need all the help you can get. So Rex is going to act as a sort of mentor to you. A ship can't have two captains. Dear lady. Please don't call me that. Sorry. And what about you, Mervyn? What's your function? I'm to be your sort of technical boffin. <laughs> Help you through the mire of all this. Sidney obviously thinks he's got the right person for the job. That's what he wants for Doctor Who. Someone with piss and vinegar in their veins. Did you say that? He's very blunt. Yes. Look, all I'm saying is, dear Le Verity, all I'm saying is, experience is not a dirty word. Don't fight us. Perhaps you could add a few drops of warm beer in with your uh, Piss and mixture. Just for the time being. Ah, we better clear out. We'll have the news team in here. That's clever. So they don't have to look down at their words all the time? Yes. Quite a wheeze. Someone will make a fortune out of that. I suppose so. Shame I didn't get to the patent office faster. Why? I invented it. 